This video is brought to you by Amazon Music Unlimited. For a limited time, you can get three months absolutely free. For more info, visit getamazonmusic.com slash cartoon guy. Link is in the description. Also, Tee Public, get some of my latest tees and merch just in time for the holidays. Link is also in the description. Taking a break from editing part 4 of the fantastic legacy of Hanna-Barbera to talk about Mystery Incorporated. No, not that one. I'm talking about the live action web series reimagining of Scooby-Doo that's being released on YouTube. It was supposed to be released around 2020, but then COVID and the pandemic happened and yeah. But now it's finally here and I can't wait to talk about it. Of course you all know I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan and when it comes to live action films, you know I loved the first two while not caring so much about the rest. Here, this live action teen drama series puts a more modern spin on the classic Scooby Doo Are You show, where their tone is reminiscent of CW dramas like Supernatural or Riverdale. The show is set in Coolsville, and we see Fred, played by Date Elza, discovering the murder of his parents and being on his own. We see the lives of the other members of the gang. Daphne, played by Jessica Chancellor, is a rich girl with her overbearing mother and constantly have to keep up appearances. Shaggy, played by Chris Villain, is a drug dealer trying to get out of the game and not get caught by his police chief father. And Velma, played by Deanne Hutton, is the brainy recluse who helps her mom run the family bookstore. Scooby is played by a real life Great Dane and not CG like before. He doesn't talk, which makes sense due to a realistic tone, and it would have been distracting otherwise. Fred wants to find out who or what murdered his parents. He runs into Velma, and they both do some investigating, and it turns out to be a demon who they end up bringing to life. And it turns out to be our old friend, Minor 49er. And look, there's the Hex Girls. Hmm, I wonder what they have to do with any of this. You know what? I'm really impressed by this. I can't believe how sucked in the story I was getting. It's funny because anyone who knows me knows I can't stand shows like Riverdale, but this show surpasses that show by a mile. You can tell the crew that created this show are huge Scooby-Doo fans, and there's a lot of callbacks and references from the franchise's 50 year history. Like I mentioned before, the story is set in Coolsville, Shaggy's dad is an officer like a pup named Scooby-Doo, Ben Ravencroft and Jonathan Jacobo are mentioned who are two classic villains. The Hex Girls appear, and for some reason, they use the exact same recording of Hex Girl from Witch's Ghost, and the Minor 49er makes an appearance, which I have to admit, looks pretty cool. There's even a dedication to the franchise's creators, the late Joe Ruby and Ken Spears. Much respect. It's also shot really nice, and I love the cinematography. The darker tone is always welcome to something Scooby-Doo related, and it seems like the Mystery Incorporated series was one of the biggest inspiration for this. Which is fine, I love the show. I just have my own personal issues with it, but we'll be going that over a later date. There are some corny and awkward moments, and there's a cameo from a character I was just puzzled by. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of hard work put into this by people who love Scooby-Doo as much as I do. And I can't wait for more. Congrats on the show, guys, and good luck. Until next time, I'm Voyager 7 Cartoon Guy, and I gotta fly. Scooby-Dooby-Doo! If you want to support this series and many other videos, click the link below to my Patreon. You get a special credit, early access, shout out to your channel or blog, even a commission by me. Every dollar goes into the production of these videos for software, research, DVDs, as well as help put food on the table. If you're not able to donate, you can also help by liking, commenting, subscribing, and clicking the little bell icon. I thank you, and I gotta fly.